Black Eyed Peas and Greens were all on the menu at the annual fundraiser for a sober living home for women. But this year, the New Year's event was held at the ministry's new bakery and cafe. WCBI's Ali Martin tells us that meant larger crowds and more resources, that is, to help Talbot House carry out its mission. It was a busy first day of the new year for Taylor Gray. She spent the first day of the new decade fixing plates full of black eyed peas, greens, and other goodies at Talbot House Bakery and Cafe. Gray is a resident of the Talbot House in Belden, a sober living home for women transitioning from substance abuse treatment programs back into society. The bakery and cafe helps fund the Talbot House. Gray says the program has many benefits. At the Tavern House, you know, it has just kind of given me an opportunity to um, to really just work with other women in addiction that are that are facing some of the same struggles that I am. Um, you know, and it's just it's a great place to work. It's fun. It's it's good vibes, happy vibes. This is the fifth year for the New Year's Day fundraiser. In the past, the event was held at the Talbot House in Belden. But this year, organizers decided the Bakery and Cafe was the perfect spot for the New Year's Day tradition. Becky Weatherford started the Talbot House residential program in 2015 and is now able to help better prepare women to transition into society with the bakery and cafe. Well, a lot of the ladies, you know, haven't worked in a long time and they need a refresher course. Or some of them just need to um, learn the responsibility and accountability uh, required of being employed. The Talbot House Bakery and Cafe is always looking for volunteers to help host, clean tables, and help out around the popular spot for breakfast and lunch. In Tupelo, Allie Martin, WCBI News. Nearly every woman who lives at the Talbot House also works at the bakery. The Talbot House Bakery is open for lunch Tuesday through Saturday for breakfast and lunch. For more information, you can go to its Facebook page.